we're here with Zaina and Rania of Ananasa, a uh, Dubai-based handicraft e-commerce platform. Um, hi, guys. Hi. How are you? We're good. How are you? Good. And um, can you just introduce yourself and, and point out which one of you is Zaina, which one of you is Rania? Sure. I'm Zaina, uh, the longer hair, I guess. And the older one, <laughs> and the older one, <laughs> and I'm Rania. Great. Um, so, can you guys just describe Ananasa to me in your terms? Sure. Do you want to go for it? Sure. Ananasa is basically a, a platform. Um, we don't like to refer to it as a Dubai-based platform. We like to refer to it as a Middle Eastern platform, basically for Middle Eastern artisans, handicrafts, handmade items. Uh, and the whole aim of Ananasa is to expose um, the underexposed uh, handicrafts in the Middle East to the world. Uh, we think uh, they're amazing. They don't have any racial or um, or there's no prejudice when you look at a beautiful item. And we believe uh, the whole aim of Ananasa is to expose beautifully made items from the Middle East to the world. People come to us and tell us, you know, I make this item, they show us pictures if they're not in town, if they're in town, they call us, they want to meet us, so we meet with them, we listen to them. If they're serious about what they do and if what they do is beautiful, uh, we ask them to join our family and that's basically how we get artists on our site. And what if someone's not very tech savvy and they're not sure how to navigate, you know, uploading pictures of their items or even working with an e-commerce site, do you do that for them or do you train them? Yeah. We, we, we like people taking ownership because really what their store is on Ananasa is their own store. They, they take control of the, the pictures, the prices, the descriptions. So what we try to do is, is uh, in the beginning when they're really not tech savvy, we, we do it for them. But we try as much as possible to show them how it's done. Uh, so later on, should, should they have the need arise for them to manage their items, they would be able to go online and basically um, manage or edit whatever they would like to edit. Is it just the two of you running the entire site and doing all of the customer service? Well, for now we have, we do have uh, part-timers working uh, on board. We have uh, part-time graphic designers. Uh, sometimes we do get help with uh, customer service. Um, and we have a development team. But more or less, it is, for now, the two of us doing the majority of the work, yeah. And what has your biggest challenge been since launching the, the site as an e-commerce platform? Naina, uh, I would say it is developers. Finding really, because is it's like when you make a dress, if you speak to any designer, they tell you it's so hard finding the right tailor that would understand exactly what you want. Um, so basically, for, for us, tailors are the developers, and it's been really a challenge finding the right developer, the people who really know what you want, and having the whole package of, of um, not only uh, the skills of developing a website, but kind of the persistence of really wanting to get you where you want to go. Um, a lot of the, There are a lot of developers and designers in the area, but unfortunately, uh, because there is such a big number, it's hard to filter through them and find the right ones. Um, I would say we did go through uh, two trials before the one that we have currently uh, live. And uh, yeah, we were, we've been working on this concept and this initiative for the past uh, two years, I'd say, ever since we moved to Dubai. I see. So it's much more on the developing side. That's the hard part. It's not finding handicraft makers to post their. No, no, it's you know, you know, Nina. It's amazing how much talent and how much um, ambition the people we're meeting have. They all have visions. They all have a story to tell, and they all—they're all very passionate about their work. Uh, even if it's not their full-time thing, um, they're passionate about. Uh, doing this because it's it's their, it's usually it starts off as their hobby or passion and then develops into something that they realize they can actually turn into something that they can live off of basically and what's better than to do something you love for your life in your life you know how are you guys planning to make money on the site do you take a commission yeah we take a commission um, the whole concept is basically if if they make a sale on the site we we're very selective with the people we choose to be on the site but we'd not 
um, charge anyone any setup fees or um, subscription a, fees. a subscription or a price per item loaded. We kind of give them the freedom to really, really have their own online store that is open to the world. And uh, once they make a sale, we take a commission off of the price they chose to put on the site. And finally, is your is your family supportive of you guys? Yeah, they're very, very proud. Uh, yeah. We did not. Now tell they them. are. Now, now they are. <laughs> At first, they're like, "What's this?" You know, because they they didn't really see what we were saying. They didn't really get the concept. At first, um, I think it's so hard to explain to someone what you see in your mind if they haven't seen it before. And I mean, a lot of people we'd explain ananas to really never got it until they saw the final product kind of thing. And our parents are no exception. So I think um, they were saying how hard we were working on it, but they really never knew why. But when they saw it, they're like, oh, my God, this is really nice. And now every time they go out, they're like, yeah, our, our daughters have ananas. So you guys should put your <laughs> stuff on there if you make handicrafts. And it's pretty cute, actually. <laughs> they're contributing to your word of mouth marketing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and and Nina, you should meet our mom. She's a chatterbox. <laughs> we'll get her on an interview. Yeah. <laughs> um, she'll tell the real story. Um, <laughs> what's a piece of advice you would give someone who's watching you guys and going, I want to do that? Yeah. Okay. I know it's it's a little bit, maybe it's a little bit cliche, but or maybe it's it's something that everybody says that has gone through such an experience of, starting their own project or, or getting into the whole entrepreneurship uh, aspect of, of business. But really, Nina, it's persistence. You have to be persistent and you really, when you're down and you feel like giving up, just, just hang in there for just a few, few more days or a few more hours. And uh, it really is rewarding when you, when you kind of get your concept through, when, when you get, uh, when you're on the right track, even if you sometimes get off that track it's really hanging in there and being stubborn if you want to, if you want yeah. to call it that you know Nina I've always described it as a roller coaster uh, you're up and then in a few seconds you're down again and then you're up again it's just that you know when you're down just know that there's going to be an up pretty soon so as Rani said just hang in there because honestly speaking there's nothing like doing something you absolutely love and Every every seller on the site we meet inspires us differently, and we we are very fortunate to meet all these people actually. Yeah, and, and Anasa is about these sellers that are really really inspiring. I mean, uh, most of them have really started out this this has started out as a hobby or a passion, and they've turned it into their life. And which some is people amazing. actually on the site do it um, for a cause, like uh, feeding children of Africa or some uh, support you know villages in Pakistan that are underrun. So there's a lot more to their stories than a beautiful um, you know piece of clothes or a, a beautiful scarf. So I, we just feel proud to own uh, what they sell if we buy it. Like if you buy it, you'll be you happy know, to wear proud. it basically, or happy to to put it on on your wall or. Happy because because we have furniture, we have accessories, we have um, clothes, we have uh, paintings. So yeah, so when there's a story to an item, I think it, it adds value and inspires you more. Of course, it makes it makes people understand the culture more, and um, ultimately, you guys are building a community with NMS. Exactly. So yeah, it'll be great to see. Um, thank you so much for chatting with Wanda. Thank, thank you, Nina. Nina.